I'm Fox 26 Houston meteorologist Allison Gargaro bringing you a tropical update as of August 10th at about 10 o'clock in the morning. We just got an update from the National Hurricane Center talking about the chances that we could be seeing tropical development over the next two to seven days. And I want to let you know this area tropical wave, which we're calling Invest 96L. Eh, there's been a lot of dry air that's been wrapped in this thing. So overall, I think this is going to be a non-issue for any landmass and probably going to be dissipating over the next few days. But then we have Invest 97L. While we're not seeing any clear center or super organized nature of this area of disorganized showers and storms, likely going to be ramping up and strengthening over the next really two to four days, but overall seven days, we're looking at an 80% chance for that development. So you can see all of the disorganized showers and storms here, but models are in agreement that this system is going to likely be moving off to the Northwest and then heading West over the next week. After seven days out, there's still a lot of uncertainty. So I wanna show you our latest GFS forecast model. And please, I want to preface, do not take this model as gospel. I'm showing you one out of the many models that we look at, but model runs that there will be between now and the next seven to 10 days. So we see the tropical wave here, and it really starts to gain some strength as it makes its way into the open waters of the Atlantic here. And I wanna show you the timing, Thursday into Friday, that's when we could potentially be having a tropical depression, if not our next name storm, and the next name on the list would be Aaron. And longer term, it really looks to uh, broaden just a bit, maybe get a bit more in intense as well. Now, this is just a scenario. We're not talking about exactly what's going to happen with this system, but I want to talk about steering currents, a stronger storm versus a weaker storm. So this Bermuda High, which we always see this time of the tropical season, really helps to steer these systems. So if we have a stronger tropical system, i.e. it's already a hurricane, let's say, then the stronger storms want to lift north to go right around that Bermuda High. Whereas weaker storms, maybe it's just a tropical depression or still trying to get its act together, do move further off to the west. So that's why we say within the next seven days, there is still a lot of uncertainty on what could happen with this system. And let me tell you, models are still all over the place. So we don't have anything set in stone yet, but I'd say within the next seven to 10 days, we could be seeing, hey, is this going to move maybe a little bit closer to the east coast of the U.S., or is it going to follow that high like I showed you? Regardless, next name on our list is Aaron, and I wouldn't be surprised if this system does become our first hurricane of the season. But hey, we are getting closer to the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, which is near September 10th. So please make sure that you're reviewing your hurricane kit and plan with your family. And as always, we'll be bringing you the latest tropical updates on Fox Local.